Alright, these are the Nina and the Penta. The replica ships from the 15th century. The Caravel ships Columbus sailed with across the ocean. 1492 and so on for 12 years until he died. We are here to uh, represent the ships at uh, mobile museums to teach people uh, the values of Christopher Columbus and the importance of the discovery of uh, the new, new world. The typical day in port is mostly a lot of uh, talking to people, meeting people, teaching them about the ships, explaining the history of the ships, telling them what they need to know. Typical day underway is much more interesting. I like that one. Operating the rigging, steering the ship with Tiller here. Yeah. Pretty much anything I'm told to do, but it's a lot of fun. I like the crew on board, except for Cody sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it, you know, quarter mile long line, four people wide before, you know, tons of people, so much that people have to wait three hours to get on. Then I've seen days where we've had people you can count on one hand, you know. But, you know, that's not fun. When you have a lot of people, it's fun. Too many people, when it gets crazy, it's not fun. But, you know, it's good to have people because we do, uh, we do get tips and, uh, you know, it's nice to have people to talk to. Well, they say, they told me the, the Nina, the Nina was all hand done. It's the most exact replica of, of the ship. And the Santa Maria sank. Do you know if the people on it were died? Uh, after it sank, they built a fort on the island using the remnants of the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, he left the crew there with some supplies, and when he came back the next year, the fort was gone, the supplies were gone, the crew was gone. Uh, so it's possible they were either attacked and killed by local, local natives, or it's also possible that they lived with the natives as a means of survival. Right here. Uh, so we don't really know for sure. So it's really fun, you know, you get to travel the country, you get to see a lot of new people, new things, things you've ever seen before, you know. And uh, it's just a great experience seeing the country in a very unique way. Who, who thought that I would ever be on a 15th century replica ship?